What's your go-to Middle Eastern chippy for the winters? The one fragrance you reach out to as soon as it gets a little nippy, you love it for winter. Uh, and what you're really proud of is the price you bought it at. Let me know in the comments before we move on to the list, because today we're discussing 10 fantastic Middle Eastern fragrances for winter on a budget. First on the list is Ahmed Al Maghribi Summer Oud. Yes, we are starting a winter list with a fragrance called Summer Oud, but don't let the name fool you. I don't think this is a, a summer fragrance. It can be worn during summer, but I would stick to wearing this um, in the cooler evenings, never in the daytime during summer. This really shines during winter. It's not really a clone of any fragrance or not any fragrance that I've come across at least. But to help you imagine it, think of New York by Vidyan um, and add a bit of saffron uh, to the top notes of that fragrance. So fresh mandarin with saffron in the opening, then some rose, caramel and cipriol and a hint of oud in there as well. And that's kind of what this one smells like. It's called summer oud. Uh, it's a fragrance that I wouldn't recommend wearing uh, in the high heat um, Really, I think this is a hidden gem Try it if you haven't already next is I was here by Lavon Lavon is a Saudi Arabian house that I recently discovered thanks to a fragrant friend of mine Rahul Sharma Rahul if you're watching this video shout out to you. This is a clone of Zerzhov Alexandria 2 and a damn good one in fact the only one that I like now, I don't know what it is, but Whatever clone I've tried of Alexander to have really not liked the uh, rosewood in it, the woody uh, rosewood mixed with vanilla. It just didn't work for me. There's something very cheap, uh, you know, when, when people try to replica, uh, uh, replicate the Zerzhov. But somehow that's not the case with this one. It is pretty close to the original and it, it has mind-blowing performance. Uh, as you can see, I've not used a lot of this. I've worn it just a couple of times. Now, any Lavon fragrance comes with a little sample along with it that you can test when you buy it. Uh, and if you don't like it, you can return the box and you know, don't have to open the bottle. I wore that sample uh, twice. I've worn this a couple of times only, but Every time I've got fantastic performance from it. Some of these fragrances also come in massive 200 ml. Like imagine this is 100 ml. Imagine a longer version of this, a 200 ml uh, uh, fragrance bottle. Some of them are come in, in a 200 ml and I'll be doing reviews of this house, uh, of a few fragrances from this house. One is a Bulgari Gyan clone. One is like uh, Nishane's Hachivat. 200 ml of that and the price is around 150 maximum 200 dirhams so say around that 50 60 dollar mark um and for that price and that quantity like a 200 ml uh you know i was thinking that it would be a little watered down because they come in those massive bottles but no all of them almost all of them just one or two of them aren't really uh i mean they're decent sense uh, in terms of projection but almost Every other one that I've tried uh, is great when it comes to the performance. So if you're looking for a good Alexandria 2 clone, uh, do check this out. Third on the list I have Abdul Samad Al Qureshi's Safari Laom. Simply put, this is Abdul Samad Al Qureshi's take on the Pegasus DNA with added oud to it. Now I know what I'm gonna say. That's just Pegasus exclusive. But you know what? This one actually came um, uh, this one actually launched before Pegasus exclusive and there are some differences uh, in terms of the oud in it. Uh, this is very clean, <laughs> very, very good quality oud. Uh, and also it's in terms of the oud that lies somewhere in between um, Pegasus exclusive and Pegasus. I'll be honest, the first time I tried this at the uh, Abdul Samad Al Qureshi store, it didn't really wow me. I thought it was... It was meh. And then a couple of years later, I went there to pick a few other fragrances. And then the salesperson told me to try it on my skin. This was somewhere, I think around noon. Uh, I tried it on my skin and I could smell it all day. I really liked how it smelled on me. It worked on my skin uh, and I'm, I'm glad to have given it a second chance 
because I dismissed it when I tried it on paper uh, and I thought, okay, yeah, this is something like Pegasus, but you know, not, not a fragrance that I really need in my collection. Plus it's a little expensive. So when you buy the full presentation, uh, it's actually a little expensive. I would suggest you go for this limited edition bottle. Now, what's the difference? Nothing. Scent inside the limited edition bottle is the same. Exact same scent. Only difference is the bottle. And this is only available online. So if you like the scent, go check it out. I would suggest buying the limited edition bottle uh, that is available online. You'll pay around say 100 dirhams cheaper, uh, 100, sorry, 100 dirhams lesser uh, than the full presentation. Uh, that is around $30 lesser if you go for this one. The scent inside is the same. I would suggest ignore that presentation, uh, that uh, fancier presentation. Go for the simpler bottle, save money and enjoy the juice. On number four, I have Ajmal Wissal Dahab. Now, this is one of the most popular concoctions to come out of the Middle East. Uh, if you live in the Indian subcontinent, uh, if you live in the Middle East, you would have definitely heard of this or tried this. And if you live in the Western world, I would highly recommend this one. This is an elegant unisex scent for winter. Uh, it's soft but long lasting, gentle but still noticeable to everyone in the air. The rose in this one is the rose in this one is beautiful. The florals and musk are clean and well balanced, and there's just a hint of spice in this, which you know it's it's not overpowering at all. It's just there. It's gentle again, and no one mentions Isoe Super, but there's a clean Isoe Super in this one as well that helps uh, make this area lifts it up uh, lifts it up a little it also helps bind the entire fragrance to together it doesn't let like the rose or the spice um, uh, overpower or the musk even overpower this fragrance keeps it clean and uh, it also helps in you know uh, letting everyone around you know that this is something that you're wearing so yeah ajmal Wissal dahab it's a treat to wear during winter do check it out next is afnan rare carbon this is a a great leather scent for winter known to be a clone of tom ford's ombre leather now it's not exactly the same uh, if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one clone i would suggest this isn't you know this is not it however if you like leather scents if you like strong leather in the winter uh, and you're looking for something the same ballpark or the same wheelhouse as um, ombre leather, Tuscan leather, uh, but not strong on that raspberry, uh, not as dry, lesser jasmine, but still has some of that floral feel, but very watery floral feel. Uh, ozonic notes is what they call it. It's mostly the violet. Then I would say uh, this is something that you should uh, be checking out. Now, notice the recent reviews on this one aren't very positive, on Fragrantica at least. Uh, maybe that has something to do with the batch. A few people say that they get this gasoline, like wax, like feel. I get none of that, like not even in the start. Some of them also say that they get a strong alcohol blast in the opening. Uh, and like, like I said, gasoline and wax, I get none of that. Uh, I don't get an alcohol blast in the opening. Maybe it has something to do with the batches. I don't know or where people are buying it from. Mine, I'll tell you when did, mine was that's pretty old. I think three or four years old. So 2000, let me check the box. Mine is a, mine is a 2019 batch, August 2019. So yeah, production year, August 2019. Uh, check it out, Afnan Rare Carbon. You're halfway through so i'll remind you that if you haven't done it yet do consider subscribing and hey five gone five more to go you're halfway here uh, there's a reason you're sticking in right so do like the video if you like it as well and also if you feel like do comment and tell me what's your go-to cheapie your favorite cheapie for uh, winter six on the list is emir wu elegante by paris connor zoja of naxos clone uh, obviously, it doesn't match the quality of the original it's nowhere close, but considering the price you're paying for it, it is great 
value for money. If you want to know more about it, how does it smell, how close it is to the original, how it performs, do check out my recent Paris Corner video. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Seven, Latafa Pride Nebras. Vanilla Bomb, this one. This is said to be a clone of Eilish by Billie Eilish. Uh, however, I do get um, a bit of Zerja of Lira vibe in it as well. If you're looking for a delicious gourmand for winter, then Latafa Nebras is one that you can pick for less than 50 dollars i've done a full review on this one too uh, i'll leave that one in the description or I'll pin it in the comments as well so if you're interested do check that out as well on to the last three on number eight i have al Haramin's amber musk it's part of their musk collection sort of a hidden gem this one actually uh, like i said it's part of their musk collection no one really talks about this i've seen just a couple of reviews online on this um even the musk collection really uh, not a lot of people know about it they should be talking about it especially uh this one from them to my nose this one has a lot of louis vuitton's ombre nomad in it yes and people on fragrantica have said that as well although this is not a straight clone of uh, ombre nomad so if you're looking for like an ombre nomad clone there are others that are closer to it this one starts off a little like ombre nomad but then it does its own thing and it goes in a different direction there's a there's a teeny bit of lancome's oud bouquet in it especially during the dry down and along with that there's this uh, very clean musk that you'll get in the rest of the musk seeds the same musk that is used in all the other uh, fragrances in the Musk series is also used in this one. Kind of binds those two fragrances together that I'm talking about. Ombre uh, Nomad and Oud Bouquet with this clean musk. So think of a smoother, uh, cleaner, muskier version of Ombre Nomad. That's what this is. Longevity on this is mind-blowing. Uh, I actually spray this on, my, on something that I was wearing um, that I ended up not not very uh, and then you know just had it on the clothes ha uh, hanger um, went on holiday actually two weeks so came back after 12 14 days came back home opened my bedroom door uh, and as soon as I entered I got this faint musky rose oud kind of smell and I was wondering what it is got clo closer to the uh, cloth hanger and it was this two weeks later still projecting as if something that is uh, you know recently sprayed so yeah number eight is the potent muskier version you could say of ombre nomad from al haramein on number nine another al haramein this one is from their french collection it's just called haramein noir now first time i sprayed this three cents from my collection came to mind and you're gonna guess it as well tom ford oud wood Thameen Carved Oud and Versace Porom Oud Noir. And although they are pretty similar scents, all three of them, this one resembles, at least to my nose, this one resembles the Versace the most. Fantastic performance. It, it, it feels like a higher quality uh, Versace Oud Noir uh, on discount. I know it's a little pricey. It is around... 260 dirhams if I'm not mistaken. It's around $70, $70-$80. But why is it on the list? Because I've seen this on discount a lot of times. So on discount you can get this for around $50 and I think that's great value for money for a scent like this. It's potent. It's one of the stronger Alara mains. Uh, if you're looking for something with that uh, oud wood um, DNA, something like Versace's uh, Porom Oud Noir but slightly better quality somehow and something that performs even better than that for $50 I would say check this one out. Last one on the list Rasasi Satur Wow. What a beautiful composition this one is. Uh, it's soft and warm but also long lasting. The lavender gives it a nice nice airy quality to it. Uh, the cardamom uh, is creamy more than spicy. I mean, it's spicy, but not too spicy. All these jokes will get the reference I'm making here. 
It's woody and ever so slightly resinous, making it a semi-sweet scent. I'm on my second bottle. I love wearing this during winter. Goes for around $30. It's a no-brainer for that price and a great way to end my list. Let me know in the comments what your favorite winter cheapie is from the Middle East or not from the Middle East. Just any fragrance um, that you go to when you know when when the weather gets a little better better i say better because you know, we have summer all year round uh, for us the cooler weather is better tell me about the scent that you reach out to uh, when things get a little cooler around you uh, in the comments if you haven't subscribed yet now is the right time to do so and until next time keep smelling amazing